Zero to four, it's me, Shag, breaking in. It's a little past eight, but we started a little after seven. Devin and DJ Fonts will be kicking the mix show in just a little bit. Hello, Devin, how Hi. are you? What's up? Uh, big shout out to Blaine Stewart, who's still here, because I don't think he has a home. Um, <laughs> and shout out to the new show, 3 Wavy TV Tip, Blockheads Media Fulfillment, Brandon Ramsey from Peabody's, Chris and Kennedy, Joe Food, because he doesn't have a, a home either. Um, did you bring any milkshakes or anything? I know you've got a milkshake. Now, I'm going a little later because I've lived here all my life, and I've never met a congressman slash politician, whatever you want to call it, someone who is so transparent, meaning you meet them, and they're not running for election, and that they're the same person when they are running for election. Yeah. I met Ron numerous years ago when he came to drop off toys for Stuff the Bus, and he literally tried to drop them off and run away before I figured out who he was, because he didn't want me to talk to him on the radio or take a picture, and I remember getting upset with him at Lenny, I'll never forget it, we were at Lenny Haven Parkway, Toys R Us, and I'm like, someone's like, you know that's Ron Villanueva, and I chased him. I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, I'm just, you were with your wife and your kids. It was freezing. You're like, I'm just dropping off toys. And I said, like, come on here. And you're like, I didn't do it for that. Ever since then, I said, you know what? He's good at my book and you still come to stuff the bus. But I'm holding this, I'm holding on to this story because I wanted to talk to you because how long, first off, how long have you been in Congress or a politician, if you want to say? Well, first, Shaggy, thanks for promoting me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm in the state legislature. Yeah. And I represent uh, Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. Yep. And, uh, I've been elected since 2002, first as a city councilman, and uh, the way I got elected, I remember, was because of uh, uh, the Young Vote, the Rock the Vote efforts, and uh, didn't we do something at Peabody's a long time ago? Like, yeah, okay. My friends at Peabody's were one of the main guys. I the reason why I got elected. So we love uh, you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you know, and I and I asked you, Ron. I literally called you at like 4:30, asked you to come in. You said, of course. You didn't ask me, hey, what question you're going to ask me. I told you what it was going to be about. Uh, you love Virginia Beach. I mean, it's your home. That's why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've seen stuff like this before. You know, these crazy weekends where it scares people. They don't know what to do. Everyone looks at, you know, the elected officials, the police, wondering what can we do. How does this work, Ron? This happens. You're at home. You see it on your phone. You're like, God dang it. Like, you know you're going to be pulled into meetings. How does this stuff go to get into the mayor, figure out a plan, how does this work? Well, first, brother, you know this, you can't legislate character. Right. And uh, we still have faith in humanity, and we're, we're hopeful that folks act appropriately. You know, all of us grew up, uh, our parents taught us good manners. Right. And that's, that's the key. And then uh, down at the oceanfront, that's the crown jewel of Virginia Beach, and we got to work to protect it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an economic uh, engine that helps you know, to make sure our, we have the best schools, mm -hmm. um, we have police officers, our roads. I mean, we live in a great city, I think you would We do, absolutely. One of the best in the nation. And uh, what happened down at the oceanfront uh, could happen anywhere, and it happens in every resort city uh, that you've been to. And it could happen uh, at the mall, it could happen at the uh, grocery store, anything that could happen. But what we saw this past weekend was, um, you know, a wake-up call. And uh, wake up a call not only for the folks down in the oceanfront, but for the folks in, in, in our entire community. Yeah. And it's it's uh, many solutions that will fix it, not one. Uh, and uh, it's not solely on the government that can help do it. Um, it's going to have to be a partnership with the universities, the communities at large, you name it. Because Virginia Beach is a growing city. Uh, I'll give you, for instance, um, we're looking at... Uh, investors to come back in our city to hopefully build an arena or an entertainment site, um, you know, help um, build the light rail. We've got all kinds of folks wanting to look at Virginia Beach to invest in. and Because uh, they see the potential. They, they see the potential, but more importantly, Virginia Beach is such a great city that we've got the largest city in Virginia and we've got a lot of great residents, and yeah. uh, I think you know that. Yeah, right. we got Ron Villanueva in the studio, and I, like I said, I had him come in because I wanted to get your aspect on it. Now, people that are listening, and I went to the town hall meeting last night, and people are outraged, to say the least. And people really quickly want to point the finger at somebody and take the blame, or you know, say, what can we do? People want immediate answers, just like with the, uh, you know, the Boston Marathon. People want the rest, they want, they want it to happen. If someone's listening right now, and they're sitting in for GV Beach or Norfolk, and they want their voice heard. I know, Ron, that 
I can call you and, 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 and talk to you. Or if I see you out to dinner and talk to you. What do you think is the best for people in the polite, safe way to express to the elected officials how they feel? What would you say? Shaga, I think you're seeing it already on Facebook, Twitter, um, websites. Uh, the, the recent town hall meeting last yep. night, and I'm sure many meetings moving forward, you're going to see citizens voice their concerns, and we as elected officials in partnership with the community and the police and the fire and uh, the stakeholders down at the issue front, you know, everyone's going to have a working solution. I heard so many great ideas. I wasn't there last night, but right. I saw the, the stream, and I had the opportunity to talk uh, with um, Councilman Steph and some of the other stakeholders, some of the my good friends at the bar, you know, and, and the hotel owners. Yep. Everyone has a solution. That's what I'm saying. Everyone has a way to fix it. It's just how do we put that in place to uh, make it work? Well, again, you can't legislate character. Yep. Um, you know, to prevent this in the future, we just got to let everybody know, first of all, Virginia Beach is open and for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a welcoming city, and regardless of uh, race, um, age, age, background, free, whatever. whatever, you know, Virginia Beach is a great city, and uh, we have a free beach. Right. And that's why we're one of the top beaches in America. Um, but we need folks to respect a commu our community. We need, we need folks to respect our city. And uh, when we display behavior like that, it's, it's, it's unwelcome. And, um, you know, we're not placing blame on one, one individual or another, but we, all, we absolutely have to place blame first on the, the folks that caused this. Right. And I was down there, uh, Ron, that night. I was actually working at Peabody's. And Everybody inside the club was safe, but, you know, it definitely was, uh, Blaine said it perfectly an hour ago, it was a perfect storm that night, and uh, I don't think, I'm praying that we don't see anything like that in the future, and I think that it was, like you said, a wake-up call for the business owners, the police. Well, well, Shag, you know this at Virginia Beach, we have literally every, during the tour season, we had hundreds of events. Right. Um, you know, from our Rock and Roll Marathon to the Patriot Festival that's coming up. Yep. Just this past Saturday was um, uh, an ALS walk. Yeah, we uh, did a run for Boston on Sunday. Right. So there's some. And then tonight, the Spin Doctors at 31st Street. I mean, there's just right. so much stuff going on. And granted, there's some incidents that might may happen there, but, uh, you know, those events happen without a hitch. Right. The Chief of Police said something, and Brandon, you, you heard him say it too. He says, mm -hmm. there's so many nights and so many days that go smoothly in Virginia Beach. But it's the nights, like Saturday night, that kind of outshadow it. It's not fair, you know, but there are great nights. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Very true. I, I just remember when I was on council and working with the Oceanfront guys, and, um, you know, we, in partnership with those guys, we try to make it more family-friendly. Yep. Offer entertainment acts uh, on the side streets for families. And you've seen the upgrade of the establishments that are down at the Oceanfront. Um, the new hotels and the investment, the investment at the boardwalk, um, the walks. So, you know, there's um, some good things happening there, and every once in a while you get these things, but you always got to monitor it. And uh, you got to commend our police for not yep. helping to escalate the situation. They helped to control it, uh, believe it or not, even though they showed like they were outmanned. And you, you got to give credit to the uh, citizens and the, the businesses down there for to help report these things. And, you know, we're in a society that everyone has a phone. Yep. Uh, you know, if you see something going on, take a picture. You know, yep. everyone needs, you know, to make film it, aware. Film, film it, yeah, yeah. And send it to the authorities. So yeah, they, keep us they, aware. They yeah, keep us yeah. on our toes. So, uh, Ron, I want to thank you um, on behalf of Z104 and the Governor Rose community because, like I said, I personally know you and you're a great guy and I, I love you to death and I support you thing. And he loves you, there for you too. For you to come in, yeah. and literally, bro, you could have just been like, man, I'm busy. I just, you know, got 50 million things. But for you to come in short notice, uh, means a lot, and, and I wanted the listeners to hear that you guys are aware, and you're not just sitting in, you know, your nice houses and, you know, counting checks, which people think that's what elected like, officials do, and then they, you know what's going on, your family goes to the beach, and you don't want this anymore, you don't want this type of drama anymore at the beach. I, I think of uh, anything that came about this event that happened this, this past weekend, um, they're definitely more proactive, Yep. and uh, you're going to see measures. You know, on all fronts, uh, whether it come from government, the community, everyone's stepping up. So. All right, Ron. Um, now, like I said, I'm gonna let you go, but I, I am thinking one day I might get in politics, and I just might need some help. So uh, you got me, right? I got you. Uh, you're gonna be the first person to endorse you, brother. Okay. You, well, my, you can have my seat. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ron, don't worry, but thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. And after this, we'll come back. 
Devin, it's your show. DJ France will be in the mix. Yep. I'm getting ready to go down to Peabody's. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you the oceanfront, it will be safe. I'll be here for the next 10 minutes. So if you want to call me, express your opinions, you can more than do so. 473-1045. Uh, and like I said, thanks to Blaine Stewart, News Channel 3. Thanks to Brandon Ramsey, Chris and Kenny from Peabody's. Thank you for Devin for letting me cut in. Thank you for Wavy TV 10. Thanks to Blockheads Media and Rod. Go to Wavy. I love you to death, and I got you on tape that you're endorsing me. <laughs> when you